patients with drugs susceptible to tuberculosis are typically treated with a 24-week rifampin-based regimen, but adherence can be challenging. And trials have shown high clinical cure rates with some shorter regimens. A new trial examined whether a strategy involving shorter initial treatment would be non-inferior to standard treatment for rifampin-susceptible TB. In this Phase 2-3 multinational randomized open-label adaptive non-inferiority trial, 674 patients 18 to 65 years of age were assigned to either standard treatment with a rifampin-based regimen for 24 weeks or a strategy involving initial treatment with a novel 5-drug regimen for 8 weeks, with treatment extended for persistent disease and post-treatment monitoring with retreatment for relapse. The standard 24-week regimen comprised rifampin and isoniazid, with pyrazinamide and ethambutol for the first eight weeks. Non-inferiority was assessed in two strategy groups, with different initial eight-week regimens. One was based on high-dose rifampin and linezolid, and the other on bedaquilin and linezolid. Both also included isoniazid, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. The primary outcome was a composite of death or ongoing treatment or active disease at 96 weeks. The proportion of participants with the primary outcome was 3.9% in the standard treatment group, 11.4% in the rifampin linezolid group, and 5.8% in the bedaquilin linezolid group. The strategy that included initial treatment with the bedaquilin linezolid regimen was non inferior to standard treatment. The incidence of grade 3 or 4 adverse events was similar in the three groups. The authors conclude that in patients with drug-susceptible TB, a strategy involving initial treatment with an 8-week bedaquilin linezolid based regimen was non-inferior to standard treatment with a 24-week rifampin-based regimen with respect to clinical outcomes. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.